Warning, this video contains graphic images that may not be suitable for little sissy bitches, so if your discretion is advised, we kill shit here. Trapper J Outdoors is sponsored by Dude Traps, Wildlife Management Equipment, and Dunlap Lures, Results Matter. For those of you who are wondering about the uh, trapping shed, here she, she's ready to be poured. Hopefully I can get her done Monday. The weather's not good here. But it's pretty good size. Got a drain. I mean, everyone's like, that ain't very much bigger than the trapping shed you got now. Well, the one I got now is over there and it's only nine by nine. This one's 22 by 16. And I got plenty of room. Probably gonna put the door there. How many eggs you get? Show them the eggs. Some from earlier this morning. Oh yeah, looking good. But I'm, I'm planning on putting my walk-in door here at the moment. Two windows and a big roll-up door back there in the back where I can get that dirt moved out more. I've been hauling this dirt out, but I can come in let my four-wheeler melt off, not have to unload it and all that stuff. Just leave everything on it. That's the plan. So I just wanted you guys to see that. Now let's get on with the video. Thanks for watching. What's up everyone? Uh, I'm here in Missouri. We're not allowed to use uh, anything bigger than a 155 on land. So I'm gonna show a quick video on how I would set trails with DPs, dog proofs. I uh, do a lot. I also do a lot of blind sets with uh, one and a half coils, but I'll do a separate video on that. So I'll get up here to where one of my best spots is. Something I, sh I I look for all summer, not just during travel season. You always be looking for trails like this one. There's trails all over the place. You just got to know what to look for. So I'll get up here and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. Stay tuned. Now, as soon as I got here, it got super windy, so we'll see how it turns out. But look at this trail going up into the woods. That's just a crazy raccoon trail. And you guys have seen me, I catch them right here in the videos. This is a spot that I've caught one. So, get this set up here and I'll show you what I'm going to do. And you can find these trails all over. As you can see, it leads into a covert here. We start way up here. Let's see what I got. It's obviously not season right now. I'm just demonstrating. I like to put a marshmallow on the trigger. And then your lure of choice. If you even need a lure, that's up to you. But your lure of choice. Put this on the rim here, a little bit on the marshmallow. But today I'm using Dunlap's Firefly Coon Glue. And I can squeeze one-handed, but if you can't, if you don't, if you, nothing wrong with you if you can't set without a setter, but. All right, got her figured out. Okay, well if you got a setter, you want it to go in between here, push down. Just like this. See that? And then you put it on the dog here. Don't lose your setter. But usually I just do this. Bring my dog down. Hook it on. Stick it in the ground here. And then I would either use a, uh, a piece of rebar or you guys will see me use a lot of cable extensions. I'm just gonna rebar it off today. She's ready to go. Got my King Glow in there. 
My dog proof. I'm right on the trail. I'm gonna start up here, catch them as soon as they come through that fence. And then, like I say, I'm just using dog proofs today, so I know there's a lot of other ways you can do it. Some places you can put 220s right there in that fence and get every single thing that comes through that fence right there. I'm not allowed to, so I can't today. Okay, there's that set. And you'll catch them one after another here all season. There's a lot of coons using this trail. I'll move over to the other okay, side. Okay, here's the other side. A lot of times, I'll set several sets on here all along. You see this trail goes forever. So you can set anywhere, put whatever kind of set you want. Just find trails like this. Keep your eyes out this summer and see what you can find. Okay, this time I got a dog proof on a cable extension. Got a tree here, perfect scenario. Go around the tree. And I've got a video of me making these. I'm right along the highway. You're gonna hear cars. This is real life. Put that on there, right on the trail. Put your bait and lure in there, you're good to go. Just perfect, simple. They will destroy this tree, but your trap will still be there. All right, those are a few sets, simple ones, like I say. But basically, it's gonna have to be a trail like this, or I don't set it. And I'll show you that, I'm gonna go to find you another, another spot. Another culvert, crazy trail coming up that way. I get clear down in here as far as I can. You do not wanna use rebar here, good chance that coon's gonna climb up and take it. It's not worth the risk. Just bring your rebar up here a ways. Get it in the ground. Got my marshmallow in there. Put your dog proof right on that trail. They come right down here. And this is where I would put a step. Right here. I put a step right here. Put my one and a half on there. And then you'll have them just dancing around right there. That's one of them ones you're gonna have to check in the morning though. Okay, there's another trail. Just wanted you guys to see these trails. I'm not far from the last trail, just up the road. I mean, look at this. It's perfect. Here's one where the trail don't stick out near as much. It goes right there. It's still there. And you can tell that there's, there's fresh coon tracks going right along here. So you gotta make sure you get down and look. I got a perfect print right here. They're going over that way. They're falling right in the water mostly. So they're not gonna leave a trail near as much as what you would expect. So keep an eye close because they're coming across right here. Because they're, they're in that water walking right through this whole thing. They don't even have to leave a trail. So watch for stuff like that. Basically just driving along, showing you where I see the trails. There's a culvert. Goes up there where I caught a coyote on a one and a half. And, and you don't have to trap this road ditch right here. You can go and trap up there where it goes through onto the property that you're trapping. So keep an eye out for that. Here's another one that I catch a lot of stuff on, as you can see here. Catch circles, catch circles all up here. But this trail continues on up here. You can set your dog proofs up there, get them away from the road. But I put a blind, I put a trail, a blind set there, and then I have my dog proof down here on the trail. Stick it in the ground like that. Obviously you want your anchor all the way down. 100% ready to go. Double them up, put two dog proofs if you got them. That's a good one for you. Got a concrete culvert here. But if you come on this side, you can see the trail right there. Go straight up that way and out. Put your sets anywhere on that trail. Thought you'd like that one. 
right in someone's yard, but that's for demonstration purposes. I'm just driving around showing you guys trail. Just down the road and here's a culvert sticking out. Guarantee you there's gonna be one here. And there is. It's right there. It heads up that way. Actually, we got a double. It gets you some traps on that trail and get you some traps on that trail. It, there's two of them there going that way. So, every culvert. I, I uh, recommend you guys going out and checking your area and look for culverts. I'm not sure if you guys will make it out, but these trails, you can a lot of these trails you can see from the road. I mean, look, it's just shooting up that way. Hopefully you can make that out with a GoPro. Here's another culvert. And this one's got a really, really good coon trail that's gonna need some attention this coming season. And we got, got some really good tracks going up right here. That's just a really super good trail right there. Definitely, definitely gotta hit that one. all right so i showed you pretty much how i do my dog cruise i use a pole only and this one here just happens to, i prefer i prefer a pole only but this one just happens to be a push pole but i prefer pole only because when i'm when i'm out there running and gunning i just want to be able to shove the bait down in there underneath the trigger and go and i just got lure all over me but anyways you do that you'll find out for sure that this is push pull when you go to do that i in the middle of the early mornings chink caught but i like to use a big marshmallow on the trigger and then the lure of your choice i'll be running a whole bunch of dunlops firefly coon, coon glow so or well he calls it glow coon I'll be running that, so we'll see how that does. But, uh, pretty much the only thing I didn't show you in the video is I use wolf fangs on a lot of mine. I got a wolf fang uh, driver here. I'm gonna go ahead and drive it. I'm gonna go ahead and get prepared for nuisance raccoons. We'll just put it right here. I want it in the trail. You know, right here actually looks better. Obviously, I need to clean up my yard. This is gonna be the best spot. I'm gonna put, I want the trap there. I'm gonna put this up here to where they can't reach and destroy my pen. set it now they get caught they'll just be able to grab it but they're not going to tear it up you want to make sure you stay away from your house or or whatever so i'll get some lure <coughs> some lure and i'm going to put it right here so when they come through the timber here they come try to get in my quail pen they'll be caught so that'll be good And you guys seen me use this. You just lasso it around a tree. And you're good to go. Rebar anchor. Center. 
Make sure it's between there. A lot of people lay it down like this. Compress your spring. It's awkward to me because I don't, I don't have to, do, to use one, but just want you guys to be able to see it. Get you a setter if you need it. And don't be scared of your dog proofs. They're not gonna kill you. There. A lot of people are really scared of them. But like I say, find the trails. I, I, I forgot to tell you, I paint white. Brown is good for if you got a lot of people around. But I like I like to paint them white every year. And you see, you get they get worn off. But uh, that's pretty much it. I run and gun the dog proofs. The problem you'll have is you'll just catch your skunks, you'll catch possums, and you'll catch coons if you if you run uh, blind sets with a one and a half. You'll pick up a lot more mink and, and fox and coyotes and I catch bobcats in my one and a half. So they these have a place. I like to set them around the property. Like I'll just put them over here. I'll put some over here by the chicken pen and get the possums and the coons that are coming in because it's getting about that time where stuff's gonna be having babies. So they'll be coming out of the timber and killing my critters, so. Well, I hope this helps somebody. It's obviously not trap season right now or I would be showing you all kinds of uh, raccoons. But, I, like I say, I find the trails where I don't even set it. The only time I set where there's not trails is I'll put my coyote set here and off to the sides so of the, like if I'm on the field edge, I'll put, a, I'll put a dog proof on each end to try to catch the coons before they get in my coyote sets. But. If you're trying to get numbers, a lots of coon, you're gonna have to get out, find them trails and get on them trails. And there's trails all on the creeks, everything like that. So, all right, I appreciate you guys watching. Hit that red button, stay tuned.